All right, on to the next portion of our program. So sit back, relax, and let's move on to the one minute pitch. Can I get this evening's participants up this row here? If you're not already here, I see three of you here. The idea is simple. Each of these contestants is going to give 60 seconds and one slide to promote an idea, a product, or a service. When the screen behind me turns to applause, it's your job to clap. And the contender walks away. Judging our one-minute pitches, our acting mayor, Bob Elliott. Bob? <laughs> Bob! Okay, well in between that, <laughs> we'll get Chamber of Commerce representative, Andrea Madden, please. And Dave Tashira from the city of Port Moody. Ah. I said, how about entertaining us?
happens to be one of my favorite songs. He's going to be a real heartbreaker, isn't he, when he gets older. Okay, on to the one-minute picture. Judges ready? <laughs> ready. Okay. And our first brave contestant tonight, City Green Solutions. Many small business owners, such as yourself, are looking for innovative ways to save money and uh, work towards environmental responsibility. Well, the Live Smart BC Small Business Program, funded by the provincial government, is making this a whole lot easier. The program provides free business energy assessments to businesses such as yourself. Energy advisors, such as myself, come and do a, a free walkthrough energy assessment for you. We identify customized opportunities for you to save money, reduce operating and maintenance costs, and really improve the look of your business. One such business I worked with spent about $1,000 on a lighting retrofit, and the store looks amazing. Um, the business owner received about $400 in incentives from BC Hydro, and is saving about $250 a year on electricity bills, so it was a no-brainer for her. You too can qualify free for a free business energy assessment. Talk to me after this, get my card, or visit livesmartbc.ca. Gallery Bistro. Pop-up retail started in Los Angeles in 1999, and the trend involves popping up one day and then disappearing a day or several weeks later. Entrepreneurial retailers just rent a vacant storefront then get the word out, sell their wares, and move on. It's also known as flash retailing. They become popular for marketing and sales events with companies ranging from Target to Gucci to Louis Vuitton. Pop-ups have, however, evolved to be much broader in scope beyond retail. For example, pop-up restaurants, and my favorite, pop-up cultural events. Some examples of pop-up events that have been held locally are a gala cocktail party in a new car showroom an opera performance in a mattress shop, a fashion show in a pub, flash dance mobs, and a live theater performance in a local bistro, which will remain unnamed. <laughs> I'd like to challenge local businesses to seek opportunities to host pop-up events in their locations as a form of creative engagement within our community. This is, after all, the city of the arts. Notary Public. I would like to take this great opportunity to introduce myself to the Port Moody business community. My name is Adele, not a singer. Um, I'm a notary public. Uh, I practice in Newport Village. Um, for over tw 12 years, um, I provided legal services as a lawyer in Russia and then uh, certified uh, senior paralegal in Vancouver. Um, it has been my dream for a while uh, to open up my own business. I completed my master's degree in applied legal studies. I got my um, statutory exams done, and in May 2013, I finally got my dream come to true, and I started my own public practice in Port Moody. I provide legal services uh, in uh, some of life's most challenging situations. Uh, it's my goal to guide my clients smoothly through sales and purchase and mortgage of their homes, as well as uh, real estate, um, other real estate transactions and personal planning. Thank you for your attention. Port Moody, naturopathic health and wellness. I've got the results from your mammogram, and it turns out that you've got dense breasts. Dense breasts? Well, at least the rest will be smart. <laughs> you know, Rita, 50% of women actually have dense breasts. Isn't it hard to find breast cancer in dense tissue in a mammal? Yes, because a mammogram is a flat image. It's like trying to find a snowball in a snowstorm when you have dense breasts. 
So what's a smart woman with dense breasts to do? <laughs> well, our clinic offers a new technology called ABUS that gives three-dimensional views of the breast, <laughs> making it easier to detect cancer in dense tissue. And we're only one of four sites in Canada offering this innovative technology. But does it really work? Used with mammography, it's been proven to find two to three times the number of early cancers than mammography alone. Two to three times more? Wow. Is it safe? It's safe, radiation-free, and it's been approved for screening by Health Canada. Now that sounds like a smart technology for women with dense breasts. How do I get an appointment? <laughs>Excuse me if I say this wrong. Veracis Med Meditation and Wellness Center. Please, if it's wrong, say the right name. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Regina Kaiser, and our company is Veracis Meditation and Wellness. I'd like you to join me for a minute. Just close your eyes and take a deep breath. You do not know you are in the dark until you see the light. How willing are you to see more clearly? Let us show you how. Open your eyes. We invite you to join us for Business Clarity 101, an innovative approach to new focused clarity for personal and professional success. Come ask us any questions, we'll be happy to answer them for you. We are Veracis Meditation and Wellness, a simple path to clarity. And last but not least, Wise Sisters Consulting. calm everybody down, get everybody relaxed. <laughs> so I have a question for you. What do you get when you feel overwhelmed in life? Stress. What do you get when you're confronted by a bear? Stress. What do you get when you read stressed backwards? Dessert. Desserts, that's right. <laughs> Turn negative experiences into positive ones. I'm Fei Wong, a wellness consultant who is a catalyst for positive change. I offer individual and group sessions to the public and local businesses. Mind Master Training. Experience the power of positive thinking. Thank you. So a big thank you to the One Minute Pitch participants. Y'all did a fantastic job. We're going to give our panel one minute, exactly 60 seconds, to discuss and come up with a winner. Stay tuned and we'll let you know. Looks like a really hard decision. City Green Solutions. Thank you very much, and I understand that you get a six-month pass to the recreation complex. So we have some dessert and coffee lined up for you in the Galleria, but before we head out... I want you to know that this year's Spike Awards has been filled by Jeff Scott of Tri-Cities TV. You can watch tonight's show on October 28th at 9 p.m. and October 29th at 7 p.m. on Shaw Cable. 
So, um, I ask also that, as mentioned before, the Honourable Mentions meet up with Margot Davis at the front of the stage, and the award winners meet in the gallery lobby for photographs. So, please join us for coffee and dessert. Thank you. Rosemary Small, Councillor for the City of Port Moody at the 2013 Spike Awards, our 8th Annual Awards. And I want to say thank you to everybody that came tonight. It was a fantastic success. I'm uh, City Council Bob Elliott and I'm Acting Mayor for tonight's uh, award ceremony and really, really well. We had the most um, people nominated that, that, that in history, which means we are a growing city as far as the business and we want to keep inviting businesses to invest in Port Moody. So it was a wonderful evening. As you can hear behind me, everyone's enjoying themselves. And Councillor Small did a great job as, an, uh, as our MC. And I just have to say that totally successful. And let's have more of this and invest in Port Moody.